Hello and hi. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay guys, so I uh, will teach you conditional probability. So let's look at the formula. Okay, for this conditional probability, the formula is probability event A given event B. Okay, equal to probability event A intersection event B divided by probability of event B. Okay, so I will give two example. The first one in paragraph, the another one in contingency table. Okay, so let's look at the question first. Okay, so the first one, the question is probability students absent on Monday is 0 0.03 and probability it is Monday is 0 0.2. The question is, what is the probability students absent given on Monday? Okay, so we apply this formula. Okay, what is the probability student absent given on Monday? Okay, so we apply this formula. So, probability absent intersection Monday over probability Monday okay so from this question probability student absent intersection with Monday is 0 0.03 okay so this probability is two event occur simultaneously okay two event here okay uh, we divide with probability Monday, so 0 0.2. Okay, so 0 0.03 divide 0 0.2. Okay, so I get 0 0.15. Okay, so for the conditional probability, it's easiest to use to understand the concept or another way. You can understand by you put the probability that two events, okay, okay, in here, and then one event at the bottom, okay, like this, okay, so 0 0.03 over 0 0.2, so we got 0 0.15, okay, so it is a Equation in the paragraph, so I will show you conditional probability. Okay, so this is the example of the conditional probability in the contingency table. Okay, so this is a random data about the opinion of the respondent that the carrier woman can be a good mother. Can be a good mother. So what is your opinion? Okay, so this is a random data. Okay, so from this table, uh, male say yes is 27, male say no is 23, female say yes is 40, female say no is 10. Okay, so total respondent is 100. Okay, so the question is, what is the probability respondent was a female given that the respondent answered yes? Okay, so from this question, so I will apply this formula. So, probability, respondent was a female. Female, given that the respondent answer yes. Okay, so this is the way how to write a conditional probability formula. Okay, so probability... Female, okay, intersection yes, female intersection yes, divided by probability yes. Okay, so when we already convert into the formula, so we refer the double. So the first one, probability, female, and say yes. Female, say yes. So 40 over Okay, don't forget probability. Probability is number of events 
divided by number of sample. So for this question, number of sample is 100. Okay, divide. Probability, yes. So look at the column, yes. 67. 67 divided by number of sample is 100. Okay, so use the calculator. Okay, so in the fraction, we also get 40 over 67. Uh, in decimal, we get 0 0.597. So actually, it's up to you. You want to write your answer either in fraction or decimal. What is it correct? Okay, so we're done with the conditional probability. I already give you two example. The first example in paragraph, another example in table. Hope you understand to do the conditional probability. Okay, so the easy way to understand this concept of conditional probability. So, the two events. Okay, it's here and then one event at the bottom. Okay, so you calculate and then you get the answer for the conditional probability. Okay, so the last one is the expectation. Okay, for the expectation, okay, the formula is expectation times probability, okay, plus expectation times probability, and then plus, it depends on the equation, how many events is here, okay, so this one event, one, uh, event this one, one, and then two, and then maybe and two, and it depends on the equation. Okay, it's very simple for the expectation. Okay, uh, I give example. Okay, teacher want to watch movie. Probability 
plus expectation times probability and it depends how many event is here okay so the question Kisha want to watch movie she expect to watch one movie on weekend is 0.5 and she expect to watch two movies is 0.3 she also expect she will watch three movies on weekend is 0.2 what is the expected value so we times the expectation and the probability so 1 times 0.5 plus expectation 2 times probability 0.3 plus expectation 3 times probability 0.2 okay so what you have to do you just multiply the expectation and the probability okay so 1 times 0 0.5 plus 2 times 0 0.3 Okay, plus. Okay. So I get 1.7. Is it okay to get more than 1? I said before the probability, the maximum value is 1. Okay, it differs with the expectation because the formula for the expectation is the expectation times probability. They have an expectation here. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you if your value is more than one. It's also correct. You just don't worry. Okay, so they have more of example for the expectation, but I don't think it is the hard sub topic because it's a direct question. You just times the expectation and the probability. So I think I done with the probability. I just give the basic example. Okay, I start with the introduction. I give you the basic of the probability, the number of events divided by number of sample, and then I continue with the addition law. Okay, you have to alert with the mutually exclusive and not mutually exclusive. Okay, please remember. Okay, the next one is multiplication law. Okay, multiplication law is a dependent dependent event and independent event. Okay, either the sample is changes or not changes. Okay, for the conditional probability, okay, they have a wording given here, or maybe you can um, get a hint. The question we have to apply conditional probability if they have one probability but two events occur okay all right the last one is expectation so for the expectation value okay so you just calculate expectation times with the probability and then plus expectation event number two times with probability event number two and so on okay i think it's enough for today about probability so last but not least please do a lot of exercise for the probability probability um, do a exercise is a one way to master and understand how to do how to apply the addition law multiplication law conditional probability and also expectation Hope you enjoy this video and understand what I teach you. Okay, see you on the next video. Thank you so much. Goodbye.